Hi, this is Shogi lesson number five. As I said in the previous lesson, I got a new set of pieces that are easier to recognize than these ones. So, these are the new pieces. The ones I've been using so far basically have two Chinese characters on each. For instance, this rook, it says flying chariot, but in the new set, it only says flying. So uh, basically only the first character is inscribed on them. And also the promoted side, this one is inscribed in red. So it's easier for you to recognize that it's a promoted piece. And moreover, sometimes these pieces reflect too much light and were hard to recognize in the video but the new pieces they're much cheaper and not well polished so that won't happen so today I'm gonna give you an opportunity to learn each of these letters written on these new pieces so I'll zoom up a little First of all, this is a pawn. It looks like a letter to me, of course, but I guess it only looks like some kind of strange figure to you. Literal meaning of this character is to walk, and it's the first letter of the word foot soldier. Well, as for the pawns, you can recognize them by seeing its size, because they're the smallest. And the number of the pieces is the most. So if you see a lot of small pieces with the same figure on them, they must be the pawns. And the promoted side looks like this. I'm going to show you the figures one by one like this. So if it's too fast, please pause the video and take your time to make sure you learn them. Now, a lens looks like this. And this is the promoted side. A knight. And his promoted side. A silver general. And his promoted side. And this is a gold general. Actually, all the figures on promoted size of the pieces I've shown, they're all cursives of this character, gold. And this is a rook. and his promoted side. This character means a dragon, which is the first letter of the word Dragon King. This one is written in cursive and is almost impossible for even me to read. The second character means King, so it's a cursive for this character inscribed on the King. And this is a bishop and his promoted side. This character means a horse, which is the second character of the word dragon horse. So this one is also cursive. And this is the same as the second character of the knight, Cassian Horse. See? It uses the second letter, horse, 
because the first letter dragon is already used by promoted rook. So usually in Japanese, we call the promoted rook as dragon and the promoted bishop as horse. Why don't we call them that way in English too? So in my video lessons, I won't use the words promoted rook or promoted bishop anymore. From now on, I'm going to refer to them as dragon and horse, okay? And these are the kings. As I said in lesson one, one with a dot means jewel, and the other means king. Actually, the literal meaning of this letter is a sphere or a ball. So when I say jewel, it doesn't mean something like a cut diamond. It's a bowl-shaped one which was considered to be most valuable in the old China. Oh, and one more thing. There's something else inscribed on the bottom of the kings, like this. Well, only the kings. Nothing's inscribed on other pieces. Usually, the name of the person who made the set of the pieces is inscribed on the bottom of this jewel general. And what is inscribed on the bottom of this king general is the name of the font. I mean the font that is used in those pieces. So, you know, it's like Times New Roman, Gothic, Arial, something like that in alphabet. So the kings in this set, too. It has the name of the person who made this and the name of the font. Okay, so you've learned all the pieces. Now, let me talk about something else. I want to talk about the origins of these Chinese characters. So, I found a website explaining about the origin of uh, Chinese characters. Well, it has nothing to do with playing shogi, but I think it'll make it easier for you to learn the letters on the pieces. So here it explains about the origin of the word written on the pawn. See? The literal meaning of this word is to walk. So it was originally a figure looks like footprints. And then it changed to the figure like this. I found something else here. So this is how the character horse is made. And uh, also this one. This one is the origin of uh, the first letter of Rook which means flying. It says it's, it's a picture of a bird. Yeah, I found the bishop, this one. It says its origin is a horn of animal like buffalo or something. Oh, here's the gold. See? It says it represents some kind of mineral under the ground. Here's the second character for uh, the rook and lance. So 
so it means chariot its literal meaning is a wheel so it was originally this kind of figure here's the king it says it represents a human between the earth and the heaven wow I found a dragon too it says it was originally a snake with a crown so see you next time bye